Hi guys, it's been a while since I recorded the video and I'm glad to see you all. Today I would like to share with you my autumn favorites and let's get started. So first I would like to tell you about the trainers from Lacoste, which I really really enjoyed during this uh, summer and actually autumn as well. So this is my first pair, this is how they look like. So I've purchased them during the summer sale and uh, the sole is like this, so it's very comfortable and they're made of a very comfy, very soft leather and I love the shape of them and I was looking for quite a long time for something which is smart enough uh, but yet comfortable and great for everyday wearing with jeans, with sweatshirts, going to work just simply so you may know that especially living in London, you know, in such a hectic, uh, hectic timetable you know that requires a lot of comfort during the day uh, then the second pair looks like this so here you are such a beautiful burgundy color like a wine color and this is very comfy as well i did wear this much less than the blue ones and you might notice that by their condition and the reason why is that these are a little bit wider i'm not particularly keen on the design and i was planning on wearing them more during the autumn time however somehow i still was wearing these the blue ones but maybe i will discover these during the spring so they're still lovely and I've purchased them from Lacoste webpage, uh, from their official webpage and during the sale times they were about £55 each so it's quite a good value I think because they're really really comfortable please take, uh, take them into consideration the third pair I would like to show you is um, shoes shoes from um, Jones, from the shop called Jones it's a lovely classic shape, they're very comfortable. Uh, I love this too because I don't like them to be very pointed, I don't like it to be very round. So these are this is just perfect for me. And it's great with the suit, it's great with the skinny jeans, so it's lovely and it's it it will instantly dress up any outfit, so I highly recommend to take this into account. So let's move forward. Um, I'd like to tell you about some makeup favorites and you may already know about how I love my Marc Jacobs because I've already told you about um, Marc Jacobs concealer. So today I'd like to show you Instamark product which is like this. It's called Instamark and uh, what this is a contouring palette, contouring product. It has a beautiful big mirror which is made of very good quality. Oh. Let me just shape my ring here. And the product itself looks like this. It's a lovely product. So you use a darker shade for darker areas, right? To contour and you use a lighter shade for uh, highlighting. And as you can see, the shades look darker and light uh, in, in, in the packaging. However, in life, they're very subtle, they're very elegant and they're just blending in very easily and they look very naturally on your skin. I absolutely love this product and whoever has access to Marc Jacobs products, please, please, please pay attention. This is a really, really good makeup brand. Yeah. And it also came with us. So the packaging is just like this. Beautiful. And... Um, it also came with a book with instructions where and how you can apply it to achieve um, a certain effect. Yeah, uh, I also applied it with my Real Technique brush, which is this brush. Uh, so then I'd like to tell you about Estee Lauder um, Double Wear Maximum Cover Foundation. I've heard a lot about it from uh, bloggers and they use it for their videos, they use it for shooting and I just wanted something with extra coverage for those special occasions such as parties, going out and some concerts and this really does its work. Um, it really provides you with a super uh, beautiful matte, very velvety finish. Uh, it's not about a healthy glowing skin, however if you want a little bit of a glow you can just add a highlighter, it's not a really big deal. Uh, I still use a little bit of um, mm, 
corrector or a concealer of course but still uh, this covers almost all of my blemishes and i would say it will cover all if i apply more but i just don't want to build up that very very uh, heavy foundation on myself and i still use a tester which i was given yet a while ago and there's still enough of it in there so this is a very long-term investment it will really last you for a long period of time i promise so oh uh, please uh, bear in mind those that it absorbs very very quickly so if you apply it on your face make sure that you're quick because otherwise it might just end up as a patch on your face and it's quite hard to blend it after right then i'd like to tell you about my favorite perfume of autumn which is burberry like this uh, this is a gift from my colleagues uh, from my previous workplace and when I was choosing what to get myself, which perfume to get um, I was thinking of something quintessentially British which Burberry certainly is so it's a beautiful very very warm aroma and i absolutely love it it has a masculine you know it has very wooden uh, wooden notes in it and it's so warm and it's so inviting especially for autumn and the winter month i would highly recommend this to you and i absolutely love it and everyone compliments me on it um I was hesitating between getting Chanel Chance, which is quite a citrusy, very famous scent, and then I was hesitating about Yves Saint Laurent, new perfume, but then when I tried this, and I just felt that this is something quite unique. And also I was giving this beautiful makeup back with a purchase, and uh, I use it every day, and it's lovely. It can change its shape, it can go like this. Yeah, so, you can make it all. Oh, let me try to make it now for you. It doesn't want to. Okay, basically you can click it here and it can go like this. But I do prefer it this way. Um, it's a beautiful makeup bag. There's loads of my makeup inside. And I absolutely love it. There's nothing much more to tell about it really. Uh, and inside I was given with makeup bag also some extras such as, you know, small miniatures like this also a little a little baby of another type of my Burberry perfume and uh, also some lotions and some sprays etc okay let's move forward to the bags um, I needed to purchase two bags one which is slightly larger for everyday and one which is slightly smaller more like a cross crossbody bag so first I'm gonna show you a larger one so it came uh, in a dust bag like this which is a Zodiac and Voltaire brand I don't know if you can see it I've tried to find how to pronounce correctly this brand's name but all I could find in the internet is Zodiac and Voltaire so I'm just using that version please forgive me French people if I'm not right <laughs> so this is a beautiful beautiful bag I absolutely love it it looks like this it has a beautiful um, padlock so it's a little bit like a Tom Ford uh, thing going on in here so it's quite spacious inside and what I do like about it is that it's relatively small so it's not one of those huge massive bags you know that we all used to carry but at the same time it's spacious enough so I can put quite a lot of things in here the only minus is that it only closes in here in the middle so you cannot really close it entirely however i think you can just put the most valuable belongings in here yeah on this side here and here and then you can just uh, put in the middle some makeup some comb you know whatever that you've got there and it has uh, quite a classy vibes at the same time you know it's quite rock and roll it's quite edgy and it looks cool with a black blazer or it looks equally cool with a, a leather jacket so i really really like this bag one of the minuses is that the leather is very soft actually for both bags which is the next one i'm going to show you as well uh, but nevertheless i was looking for a bag for quite a long time and i was considering many different brands and this was something which really really caught my eye and I really like the vibes, the rock and roll, the edgy vibes and I think this is how I just feel right now. So and also in here also has quite cool studs, right? So the leather doesn't go entirely on the uh, ground. So this is how it looks like. The next bag which I absolutely fell in love with is this crossbody 
baby oh, it's like an envelope bag and for me the shape is very similar so it's very structured the shape is very similar to um dior you know they're envelope bags now so we've got the key and we've got the padlock in here as well right quite a nice detail love it and here it just opens up like this and here is just you know several places where you can put your things what i especially like about it is this strap it's beautiful strap look at these skulls i absolutely felt in love with them i don't know i hope you can see them so it's beautiful nice touch and this bit you know uh, goes very softly on your shoulder so it's quite comfortable and, and i wear it both ways i wear it like this and i also wear it um like um on one shoulder only so it's a beautiful lovely bag i really like it and i'm really glad i purchased it so thank you Zadik and Voltaire for creating such beautiful bags like this. I love it. And it goes also nice with a dress, it goes nice with jeans, it goes nice with beautifully everything. Okay, the next thing uh, what I was going to tell you about is actually this dress, uh, which is currently on me. And this is a uh, H&M and I purchased it when I was already in Latvia. And it just cost me 10 euros, uh, which was on sale. I think originally it was like 19 or something. And it's like, just like this and I wear it, um, I wear it at home. So it has this belt. So it's like, um, like a t-shirt yeah and it's just made of cotton you can make your sleeves long you can make them shorter as i do and i really like it because sometimes when you have guests or when you just simply want to look at home uh, smarter or nicer i think it is important to wear something that you really like and not just go for a, i don't know a sports trousers or just some uh sweatshirts so sometimes it's just nice to look beautiful at home and actually it's nice to look beautiful at home at most times and all of the time actually okay i don't know what i have just said but i hope you have understand what i have meant anyway moving forward these are my beautiful favorite earrings from ted baker which i was given as a gift from my colleague re if you're currently watching this I'm sending you my regards and my love from Riga. Thank you very much. This has been my absolute favorite since you've given them to me. And they go with my jewelry so well. So I wear them every day, literally every day. Um, okay, I need to be quick, otherwise my battery is gonna die now. So thank you very much, Ria, for these earrings. I absolutely love them. Thanks again. And uh, the last but not least, I was just about to tell you about two uh, movies, about two series. First, Stranger Things. It's an American science fiction horror story uh, made for Netflix. And uh, kids play beautifully in there. Uh, one boy is getting lost and then as the investigation goes on. So I really recommend it to you. Uh, and the second one is a Black Mirror, which currently I'm watching this uh, the season which is number three third season and uh, i think this is the brightest one and the best one because i watched a couple of series from the second and the first season and they're not as good as the third one so you might as well watch just the third one and today i've discovered why this is called actually black mirror it's due to um our technology project progress right we have our plasma screens we have our iphone screens and uh, i don't know whatever any kind of screens in every corner in our houses everywhere and this is like a black mirror of our 21st century these screens and the technological progress is good on the one side but it's also bad because uh, sometimes uh, you know it just impacts us so much and tells us what to do impacts our behavior impacts our feelings and and uh, uh, this series, they touch very interesting topics, they touch our weaknesses, they touch, touch how fragile we are and how dependent we are on what do other people think of us, on other people's um, perception of us. And also it touch uh, the topic of death, it touch the topic of, um, let's say, also social medias so it's quite interesting i really recommend it to you it's called black mirror and it's a british um british movie it's a british 
series, right? Um, okay, this is it for now. Otherwise, my battery is just gonna die and nothing's gonna be recorded. I hope you enjoyed this video and I enjoyed talking English for a change. <laughs> and uh, please forgive it because uh, I didn't speak any English for a long period of time now already. So I hope this video did find you well and I wish you a very beautiful end of uh, November and beginning of winter, faster season. Thank you and I'm sending you all my love. Bye-bye.